Oh, well, with everything in there done, well, let's just go, let's just follow this chain of quests and head for where Toma found the rainbow shell. Of course, we're going to beat him to it. So, in terms of party members, uh, spoiler alert, Isla is going to be important for this one. Let's see, both Frog and Robo are good choices. Again, for healing. But, uh, let us bring in... Let's bring in Marl and Magus. And we just need to top off. There we go, into the Giant's Claw. Yeah, this music sounds familiar. Thomas Crumple, no. Those holes! What if I jump into them on purpose? Yes, I'll start back at the beginning and... Oh yeah, it's... he left a note. Apparently he tried to conquer this place before and left and came back. But yeah, this... Okay. Wow! It's a Tyranno Lair! Huh. My voice from Marl is a little scratchy today. <laughs> <laughs> But, since we... Those guys are actually pretty fast. I am actually going to sp be spamming a lot of dark matter in this dungeon. Because, uh, these guys have evolved. A lot of them start absorbing lightning. And they no longer... They no longer get defense down if you hit them with thunder. Some take normal damage, others just absorb it at this point. So it just goes to show what over 65 million years can do. Cha don't change your appearance whatsoever. Ooh, time hat, what does that do? I'm at immune to slow and stop. Memory cap immune to lock. Let's go ahead and just uh, s spread out these. This equipment a little bit. Now, in a lot of cases, enemies will uh, constantly regenerate throughout here. So it's a, uh, it's become a bit of a maze. Oh, that's a one-way exit. So I just went the wrong way. Go me. So if you need to grind a little bit, this is a decent enough spot for it. <laughs> now another good option is to bring in Luca and have her nuke everything with flair. Scarecrow's saying this is his endgame grinding spot, better for experience, so... Because he loves to grind. And in another case, uh, this place does not disappear once you complete it. So it's viable for grinding... ...pretty much yeah. at any time until you complete the game. Just a lot of experience. Now, even though the amulet has been powered up, let's just go ahead and swap out the... Let's just give him that golden stud for now. And do I have a... That's good. Hey, Chiro! <laughs> yeah, Chiro, the uh, speedrunners do agree that the robot factory is the f best grinding spot, and I actually noted that at the end of the last stream, because that's where I did uh, off-screen grinding before this one. We got a save point. There's a broken switch. I thought that was a tab in there. I'm thinking of a different room. Well, rather than two, hi actually three high ethers, let us uh, just use a ten. Those are cheaper. Uh, what we want to do is, I believe it's the right one. I am so wrong. <laughs> and we're being body chucked by missing links. <laughs> so we are kind of proving uh, Darwin's theory of evolution and destroying it at the same time. 
But then again, I don't think humans have ever evolved wings, unless, of course, we are talking about Hyantia or Windians. Huh? No, that wasn't enough to finish them. Well, taste the rainbow! <sighs> That's not seven colors, zero out of ten. There we go, so just... Cat! I'm coming, kitty! <laughs> oh, it ran away. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm just hitting all the wrong switches right now. Oh, man. You know the, uh, combination? Are you just yeah. hitting them accidentally or on purpose? <laughs> And by the way, don't track it on mud in the house! Damn it, I just cleaned these floors. God damn Here's it. Here's the tab. Okay, power tab in here. And this switch doesn't work. Oh, more of these guys. Uh, I'm just gonna run, if it'll let me. <laughs> okay, that is that is the way forward. I want to get these chests first. You can tell I've done this dungeon in quite a while. Shows. Well, didn't have to do it in the race. And two power tabs in adjacent rooms. <coughs> yeah, Megas is the only one who can float over towards over the chasm towards his battle position. There we go, only one of them. And we can drag him out of the rest. Oh, oh Scarecrow, even though I had the lead, one thing I wanted to do was beat everybody from the mag race. That's what... <laughs> <laughs> of course, even though I said it'd suck Atlantis, he <laughs> had to drop out of that one. So we get the clarity cap long after we would have needed it against Alton. Oh no. Oh no! Okay, that is the way out. One thing I do like about this rehash of the Toronto Lair is the music doesn't get interrupted in battle. Uh, can I just sneak by these guys? Nope. <laughs> yeah, the mag finished it in eight, I finished it in seven. Well, then <laughs> I just spoiled it by answering the chat. Probably doesn't matter at this point. Oh, can't get in there. Yeah, after 65 million years, the technology kind of stopped working and the doors got stuck. Yep. See ya. Yeah, see those rubbles? We're not going to fight them. We don't need to. Actually, no, that is... That's, that's going to drop us down to where that ape was. Oh, dang it. Well, we would have left you alone, but since you decided to attack us as we were walking away, I'm just going to kill you. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, Scarecrow, Scarecrow says the SLPH Chrono Trigger race is worth the watch, even though I make a very weird comment about nuzzling uh, Kanti Collection girls' butts. <laughs> Why not? Yep, I want my tech list. Get out of the equipment menu. There we go. All, all that for a frenzy band. However, that was worth it. Ah. And wait a sec. You replace those enemies. Yeah, I'm not gonna let that other guy get the drop on us so easily. One more time. Whether or not we fall with them in a moment, we'll see. Nope, they're not in with us this time. So the doors are still open. We come back in here, pick up this tab. And we are about finished. I say that because of the save points. So let's go ahead and swap out Magus and bring Chrono. And I'm going to unequip the Charm Top, change that for the Frenzy Band for her. And for Chrono, the Rage Band. Because we're going to be taking advantage of some game mechanics to deliver some extra counterattacks. And up our power while we're at it. <laughs> Have a magic tab. Yep, good. Spread those out. And another thing, make sure everyone's wearing ruby armor. So, yep. Nice extra chamber. So, even though we destroyed it and it blew up, the Black Tyranno is still operational. It's kind of sitting here. But it doesn't attack us until we try and walk by. Though so the Rust Tyranno! We are going to just attack the hell out of this thing. Because it does not uh, it does not need to drop its defense before its countdown. But the countdown attack counts as an enemy attack that we are able to counter. So this helps bring up some extra damage. So we're just going to Frenzy and Triple Kick and have Marl haste up. Then we'll attack with rainbows. <laughs> so haste. Yeah, we're all get ready, basically getting two attacks to his one. Now, don't Chrono and Isla have the drop kick dual tech? Ah, uh, no, Falcon hit is their last one. Now let's let everyone get a turn. Oh, Marl was not quite fast enough. And so, final kick is their triple tech. So, combine magic, do a triple kick, and, well, that did a fair amount of damage. Now, let's see how Luminaire compares to uh, Frenzy for Chrono. Ah, uh, Frenzy does just as much with less MP. Oh, rainbows! Ah, uh, X Ether for Isla. Oh, not bad. Hmm. 
But it's basically at this point in the game where uh, everyone's best single techs will far out damage double and triple techs. Ha! Ah! One cycled it! Suck it, Chugga! <laughs> Oh, sorry, you're in a papers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been getting some inevitable comparisons between in this LP and Chugga Conroy's, but... <laughs> he'll, uh... never, he'll never see this, but I don't care. So, yep, lo and behold, it's our rainbow shell. I'm gonna put Marl in front really quick. Bitty! Big! This rainbow shell? And it shattered. Oh, it's heavy! We won't be able to carry it! I better get some help at the castle! Heavy! Even Isla can't carry! Castle people help! So if you try if you try to examine it with different people, they'll have different things to say. Fortunately, instant cutscene transition. Greetings! Thou art always welcome here. What can I do for thee? Well... I understand. Thou ask if we keep the rainbow shell here until Guardian's 1,000th anniversary, yes? I also ask on behalf of Frog and the others. So it shall be done. We shall retrieve the shell from the wilderness and store it in the castle as a national treasure. Night Captain! Yes, Your Majesty. Travel to the island described by Marl and bring the rainbow shell back with thee. At once. Farewell, Majesties. Thank you, Your Majesties. Let's not pollute the timeline any further, because the king's been eyeing Marl again. And it's nice enough for them to put the epic back on the side of the forest. Uh, let's find the inn. Got only 10 gold per night. So if you're cheap, just come back to this way. Or if you're super cheap, just uh, fill up in the end of time. And I actually forgot to open that chest. Well then. I already got the one in the present. But let's go ahead and give the charm top. Up, oh, we got barking dogs. Sorry if that picks up on the mic. Up, oh, wrong item. Uh, my dogs have been barking too. So. Ah, where'd it go? There it go. Give me one second. I'm gonna uh, push the door all the way closed. Excellent. And we're actually going to keep Marl in the party, and actually, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this party because now that the rainbow shell is in the is in the custody of the royal family, we got a couple things to check. And the castle is not the first thing, now that I recall. If we go back to Chorus. And head into the inn. Yep, we got, well, Toma's clone. Is that the legendary sunstone? I bow to you, friend. You're a truly most spectacular treasure hunter. Take this as sword maker Melchior right away. So, uh, that's a slight change from vanilla. He's basically saying, uh, the sunstone could make great weapons, and if you talk to Toma back in the past, he'll say, well, I'll find the sunstone first since you found the rainbow shell. Okay, they don't say anything else. Anyway, back to the castle. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> now just land this giant machine right on top of the stairs. Keep anyone from getting out. Or in.